So what we found in our study was that the, the phones made for the Chinese market disclose approximately um, three to four times more uh, information than those available, for instance, in Europe without any ability for the user to opt out. And to some extent, you can argue that some of this information taken alone is needed for various services. So for instance, the, web, the vendor needs to know the version of the application, the operating system, the phone and so on to provide software updates. Or a map service needs to know where the user is to be able to you know, offer that functionality, location-based functionality. What we found strange was the fact that a lot of these services uh, extract multiple information, mul multiple types of information, which combined now reveal too much information about the about a particular user for this not to pose privacy risks. You, you have a certain religious orientation or sexual orientation, and you use apps for that. Let's say for a Muslim prayer, or you know you're a, you know you you are, you have uh, let's say. You're not a, a heterosexual person and you're using some dating application and so on. And that's that's very private information, in my opinion, which you don't want the the operating system to disclose to any third party. So one thing that, for instance, we found a little bit suspicious was the fact that these phones came embedded with the China Unicom SDK. So let's say even if the, you, you bring the phone to the UK and insert a UK SIM card, that SDK still runs and sends information about where you're attached and a bunch of other things to China Unicom. We don't know what happens with that information, but the fact that it's being you know, sent without the user knowing it, it's a bit worrying. Uh, 